Hello everyone. One more time. This is what we're going to do. Rare Beauty. Only this time I am applying it without any type of primer. And I'm also not going to do a full makeup look. So I will be back tonight after work to see how this performed without a primer. Nothing but my daily skincare routine. So let's go ahead and get started and show you what it looks like. I'm not sure if it applies differently without a primer, but we're definitely going to give that a try. So I am going to be applying it once again with the Kabuki brush. So I do apply it first to my hand. I don't know why I do that, but I do. And it's just something that I've been doing for a while. So here we go. And as you can see, it still covers very lightly. But it does. And let's just go ahead and get this going. And I did miscalculate. I needed just a little bit more so that I can get it all over my face. And I'm not going to do a second coat. I am simply just applying it and seeing if this is going to make the difference on being able to have it not crease into my lines and cause my skin to get over dry. I did not moisturize differently. It's just my daily routine. And there we go. As you can see, it is a light coverage. Let's go ahead and get the information. And it is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. It is in the shade 20W. That is a little bit lighter than my shade, but it still functioned. It does not look too bad. At least I don't think so. But that is the application for it. Like I said, I will be coming back this evening uh, after work or midnight. <laughs> I do get off of work at midnight. I am going to go ahead and set the tinted moisturizer and I'm going to do it with Seattle London Everyday Vacay. And this is my favorite go-to setting spray. And I'm going to go ahead and let it set in. I'm not going to apply any other makeup. I'm going to focus strictly on the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer and let me go ahead and give you the full information on it. And this is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF of 20 Sunscreen in the shade 20W. And this is from Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Guys, I really want to love this. I really want to love this. And so far I have had no luck. So I'm going to try it. Just bear nothing else on top of it. And see if this is going to make the difference because if it does then it's going to be my makeup no makeup type tinted moisturizer that will only go with mascara and eyeliner and probably just a lip gloss or lippy but I will be back after work uh, midnight so it'll be an 8 plus hour type gap for you guys it's gonna be a few seconds and I will let y'all know how it performs throughout my shift and hopefully it works I'll see y'all after midnight. Nine plus hours of wearing the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is a moisturizer that continues to settle in my fine lines. Um, I do have it around the crow's feet. It has settled around the nose area, the cheek area, into the pores. So it's creating that white little dot effect along the edges. And also on the sides of my eyes, it continues to be patchy and dry feeling and looking and it feels like it's peeling. I have tried a different moisturizer. I have tried two different primers uh, and I also today tried no primer. So I have tried several things to try and make this work. I tried setting it with the powder and it was actually two setting powders and today I tried setting it with a setting spray. It still continues to feel dry and tight on my skin so my final review for the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm going to go ahead and read the whole name for you. It is the 
Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 20W. It is a broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen and it is a tinted moisturizer. I was hoping to bring a different review. Unfortunately, it has not worked with me and I tried several things. Keep in mind that I do have aging, very dry, mature skin with lines, fine lines, and in some places in my face, I do have deeper lines. And I am still getting the same result with many different um, optional changes that I made. So that is my review on, and I'm going to go ahead and read the entire thing for you. And it is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 20W. It is the Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen, $29. Uh, you can find it at Sephora and you can find it on the website. I know when I looked the last time on the website, it was sold out. That is it for now. Thank you all for joining me. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. Hit the like button if you do like this review and I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always. Bye.